Brooks. Now, I have been a farming simulator fan for about 12 years. The first game I played was uh, Farming Simulator 2011. Now, since then, obviously new versions have come out, and the latest version is Farming Simulator 2023. That's what we're going to be able to look at today. Over the years, the game has literally exploded in popularity. And you think it would just mainly just appeal to farmers, but it doesn't. And that's the thing I really like about it. It shows non-farming folk, people that haven't got any idea of what farming involves, where the food comes from, anything like that. It shows them how crops are grown, how livestock is maintained, where your eggs come from, all that sort of stuff. So let's get stuck into this latest version and see how realistic it is. So here we are in FS23 on the Amberstone map. Now this is our farm. As you can tell, it's an American farm. That's the, that's the house, that's our house. Up here we've got a trigger so we can sleep when it gets um you know when it gets dark we can uh, we don't have to go all through the night like we do sometimes in real life so quick tour of the farmyard we've got some grain silos there we've got the pit that is where you tip your product your produce in and there's augers that take that um I'm just seeing through there they'll take that underground and then into the elevators into the top of the top of the bins and we've got a storage yard there or barn there that's for pallets and bows and that sort of stuff and we've got a general machine storage yard here so i guess we've got some we've got an old school uh 4090 deutsch far uh, hts top liner old school she is very nice very nice obviously the starting combine that's a header for it at the back there we've got a nice little hardy sprayer um, over here we've got a Amazon fertilizer spreader and a potager Terrasem uh, drill. So we are, yeah, we've got the got the basics lot, got the basics over here. Yes, John Deere 4755. What a nice tractor and what a detailed model as well. It's uh, really quite surprising how you know authentic, how accurate these models are. Over here we've got the diesel tank, and then we've got, uh, we own three fields at the minute. So we've got these two here, which had soybeans in, have obviously been harvested. And over here we've got um, our other field, which has got soybeans in it growing. And they have been fertilized once, hence you can see they're at 50%, and the yield bonus is also at 50% wants another dose of fertilizer at some point. And as you can see, when you go onto a field, it gives you all the details about it. If you own it, someone else owns it, it needs plowing, what the weeds are like on it, um, state of the growth, all that sort of stuff. So currently the only animals we own at the minute are some chickens and they are egg producers. As you can see, we've got a pallet and a half there. They've been busy, <laughs> busy laying the eggs. A lot of eggs there, so obviously we can sell them, make a profit. And this is a dairy farm. See, there you go, there's your stools, there's the milking machine at the back there. Little paddock for them to graze in. And, uh, but yeah, we don't own this at the minute, but I would like to, I'd like to get some cows. But we haven't got enough money at the minute, so if we go here, we can buy the building. There you go, 254,000 pounds, quarter of a million we need. Um, so we can't afford that at the minute because we've only got 114,000 pounds. Right, so we need to make some money. So let's have a look in the menu. We can then see um, what we've got in the silos and how much they're actually worth. So we've got um, 5,834 litres of wheat. And then we've got, obviously, to the right there, we've got the feed and grain north and south and the grain mill giving us their prices. So feed and grain north is uh, is 1,217. So that's going to be the place to take that. It's a few quid more, isn't it? So, right, so we're just over at the dealership and I've just bought a lovely T6175. 
and a nice tandem axle uh, tipper trailer. So uh, we'll get these back to the some drastic measures I've had to sell some gear but that has enabled us to oh, well, make a bit of money 309,000 by the time we bought this don't leave a lot left is it it really doesn't because we've still got to buy some animals there we go we've got some lovely looking dairy cows in here Here is the milking machine, the Lely Astronaut, which is uh, again a real life uh, machine. So down there, that bit there is the cluster. Now that bit is controlled by that uh, robotic arm there. And then bits there, the teat cups, they go onto the teats of the cow and they, what are, you know, they pulsate and extract the milk. You know, it really does make you want to progress. I want to get some more money so I can afford to uh, get a baler so I can make some silage for the cows. Then I can um, expand the herd. Um, the arable side, we've got the three fields uh, are planted and growing. But I need to be able to buy a combine because I've had to sell it to buy the herd of cows. Uh, and it's <laughs> you know, and this is just like... You know, and I've just like dipped my toe in, but um, yeah, fantastic little game, like fantastic little game, and ever surreal, really is. Right, so when we get some bales, we'll be able to fire the feeder wagon up like that, that gets the augers going as you can see, and then there's knives on them augers that chop the bale. So that bit in the middle, that spins around, there's your knives on it, and that just spins around, chops it up, there's the door, just down there, that flips up and you've got the conveyor and everything, so. And then we would uh, drive along the feed fence there, and then that would deposit the silage along there for the cows to eat. So once your cows have got some food, they'll produce milk, which you can sell. Got that there, and then we're going to go and put the fertiliser spreader on, so we can fertilise the grass field and the soybean field that we seeded. On. We automatically get a weight as well to keep the front of the tractor on the ground, which you have to do when you put a heavy weight on the back. Now, we've still got plenty of fertiliser in there as you can see. Now, there's two ways we can do it. We can either do it ourselves, which we'll do for this first field. So on we go. And then we'll just drive down the field. That is putting the fertilizer. Uh, that is putting the fertilizer on, which helps the um, uh, helps. Well, in this case, helps the grass grow. So we'll get a yield bonus for that. So this soybean field has got weeds growing in it. So we need to spray this off with a herbicide. So we've got the sprayer on the T6180 now. We're going to spray this off. So that is just unfolding. Well, it wasn't a bad guess, was it? <laughs> On the width. So off we go. And that'll be the weeds took care of. 
good wide spray this is. In real life you would do the headland first. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. We can be a little bit thingy, we can just do a, a bit of a loop at the headland there. Normally you would go, you'd turn the sprayer off, go around and then back right up to the uh, edge of the field and come forward again. Does it does impress me how realistic everything is on this game. does a good job. <laughs> it does a good job. And there's so much you can do on here. Alright, so put her up, turn her off, she'll fold up. Yeah, I mean, like we say, we're only scratching the surface. You've got to put a f good few hours in to get, you know, the, you know, the top of the range stuff, or to, you know, afford more fields. Um, or different farms. So we have really pushed the boat out with buying that dairy farm and some and some cows. It's probably not the best financial sense to do that. But I just want you know, I wanted to show you guys the cows so you get an idea of what they're like. We probably won't be able to afford to feed them anything, but um, at least you you know you've seen what they look like. Right, soybeans are ready to harvest. Means we can get the old combine out. Get her fired up, the old top liner. Look at her lovely detailed model. Let's get in there and get her fired up. Put the header on. Fire her up. And we are off. And again, as with most other operations, we do the headland first. We'll do two or three passes around, uh, around the outside of the field and then go up and down, it gives us room to turn. So the worker's busy on the Deutschfahrt combine now, busy cutting through the soybeans. But it does encourage you to carry on farming so that you can, you know, get more animals, you can get uh, better kit, more land, you know, it's sort of, you know, it really is quite addictive. Just, you know, give it a go. And it is hard to keep money in that bank account. It's like we're, you know, just over nine grand at the minute. <laughs> Not a lot, is it? But uh, I should keep plodding away and um, hopefully get some better kit. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video on FS23 on Switch, and uh, yeah, see you on the next one. Ta-ta!